Yeah, yeah maybe that's what it was. It was, was like an adventure challenge experience, yeah. I think is what it meant. But it was, yeah. it was, it's different, but it was almost like a precursor. Mm -hmm. It's like not a playground. A catalyst of the, the outdoors can be, or an, how it can allow them to be a space where... It's, it's a blank person, screen where you can project what yeah, you need to. Yeah, 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 where one can really open up and, uh, be, and be vulnerable, you know, would be supported. And, uh, and I always felt that it was, you know, just a privilege for me to be a part of those kind of experiences. And what you know is with that kind of release, he can go back into that area now where he probably wouldn't have been able to do that if that hadn't happened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and he emailed me when he got home and you know, said words to those, that, that effect. Yeah. And then it's not, you know, and, and then I still hear from former students, and including a week ago, a student that I hadn't heard from in years, you know, was suddenly at a turning point in his life and wants to talk about that. And um, so, so those are the rewarding parts. Yeah. And, um, and as well with colleagues, and I can, you know, think of particular instructors I've worked with where there's been this unspoken and sometimes spoken kind of value between us of um, let's make this happen mm -hmm. and you know it's like you know we got to get this course ready because the bus is arriving in 20 minutes and we got three hours worth of work to do <laughs> worth of work to do <laughs> yeah. and it's like we made it happen you know in 20 minutes yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna say I would say um, be very holistic um, you know I'm I'm concerned about the over-specialization and the narrowness of getting very skill-specific and the merit badge sash of certifications yeah. that a lot of people coming into the field, and, and I think fed by uh, promotions from the certifying organizations, people think they need to have. and. Um, and those are all just technical skills. You know, they don't um, measure what I think is the more important piece of uh, one's uh, professional step into this field of experiential education or outdoor education, which is um, the heart and the head, not just the hand, kind of like 4-H. Four, four yeah. <laughs> Uh, pieces here. They need a passion. Yeah, yeah, they need a passion and they need to ignite that passion in others. You know, it's not just uh, I want to go into this because I like to climb. Yeah, I want and, to be out and, and I want people to yeah. pay me so I can have fun. But uh, they really, you really need to be into this so that uh, you're giving. And um, so that's the hard part. The, uh, the heart, the head, is uh, knowing and being able to articulate and teach others the why behind the what. And to me that means knowing the history, knowing the philosophy, the theory, you know, appreciating Kurt Hahn and John Dewey and, uh, and the ethical issues in the field and being able to make decisions based not on carabiner strength and, um, and proper knots and um, proper paddling technique, but uh, those are all important and they're necessary but not sufficient for, yeah, I, I think, think success. Think necessary but not sufficient is right. correct. Right, right. Uh, and they're, they're not sufficient at all uh, for being a well-rounded professional. So I, th I think to me it's really a uh, kind of coming back to the core of experiential education is that it's uh, a methodology, it's a means to a much greater end, you know, and, uh, and that end is for me to um, help create, uh, facilitate the creation of better people who will create a better world. You know, I'm, I'm not interested in educating better climbers anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Echo that and um, in, encourage and fight uh, 
those going into the field to strive to be an artist, not just a technician. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, and that, and that for me is where the passion idea comes in. Yeah. You need to have that, and, and I also think you need to have um, something other than just outdoor ed as a, as a passion. You know, like your background's in counseling, Bert, yours was what well, originally well, science, science, biology, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and mine in counseling and, and therapy as well. I think you have to have a grounding in something like that to be able to move into really being effective.